How about a science challenge with a watermelon? Now, I know you've seen all those fancy carvings before. Somebody has a knife and they do all those fancy things. What if I told you you could prepare a watermelon? It would be awesome. All you need, a pair of safety glasses and a few hundred rubber bands. <laughs> Maybe more, who knows? This is how you're going to do it. Um, first of all, you probably want to get a friend or two to do this and then cover the area in plastic. You'll see why here in just a second. And you could just start like this. Now with a friend, it's kind of fun because it's fun to count the rubber bands, but you stretch the rubber band out and you put it in the very center of the watermelon. It doesn't seem like any problem whatsoever, but now you're just going to keep on doing it. Every time you stretch your rubber band, you're actually adding potential energy. You're using your energy to open it up. It wants to go back down again, so you're adding elastic potential energy and you're concentrating it right here in the middle. Now, not going to be a problem at the very beginning, but after a couple hundred or so, maybe 20 minutes or so, you're going to start to see the watermelon shape change. It's going to start to push in in the middle. You're going to see little beads of water appear right here around the middle. You know who does this well? Our friends at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, they're the ones that showed us how to do this, and they do it in an awesome way. Oh, look at that. You can see it dripping. We saw a little, little... Oh. <laughs> wow! That was phenomenal! <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome, right? Now you understand why I told you you got to have safety glasses. You got to cover the area. The kids are going to eat it for sure. Your guests will never forget the watermelon challenge. Not at your home, at their home because you brought the watermelon and the rubber bands. You're going to have a blast, uh, an implosion of fun. I'm Steve Spangler. That's your Watermelon Bursting Science Minute. <laughs> you can't go back after that. I mean, that's the only way to cut a watermelon down. Seems, seems like a lot of work. I mean, I think I'll just stick to using maybe a knife or something. Yeah, 20 minutes of just putting rubber bands on. How fun for the kids, though. And then you get to eat it afterwards. So that's Can perfect. you? Yeah, why not? I mean, if it bursts open. Five just... second rule. It was like on the ground. No, whatever everywhere. half is still on the table. You can still eat that, right? <laughs>